The people behind the worst Roblox event game of all time have made a big return with a brand new game. A couple days ago I was on Roblox when I saw this lovely ad advertising the newest Paris Hilton Roblox game, Sliving Land. This got me very excited after what happened in the previous Paris Hilton Roblox games. Back in October of 2021, celebrity Paris Hilton joined the Metaverse with Paris World, possibly the biggest failure in Roblox game development history. That game probably warrants a doc style video on its own, but basically it was apparently supposed to be an event game, but it sucked. Supposedly unpaid child developers created pretty much the entire game with free models, some of which contained backdoors. Those backdoors then gave exploiters admin and suddenly Paris World was being invaded by certain Germans from the 1940s. That Australian painter guy looked to have sent his forces into the game and launched nuclear bomb attacks upon players. An act of war and other issues quickly sent the game into dismay and it was shut down by Roblox just a couple hours after opening. The game returned a while later in much better shape, but it was still pretty lackluster and contained several bugs and quite frankly sucked. After a few months, the game was completely redone and ended up still being pretty weird, including having a Halloween update called Cryptoween. Later on, there was a sponsored event called Love Rush advertising some perfume brand that quietly happened with little fanfare. The game's visits would suggest otherwise, but a lot of those visits actually came from botting, which happened on multiple occasions. Paris World never returned and seems to have sadly run its course of being this really bizarre and chaotic game with big corporate backing behind it. But that doesn't mean Paris Hilton is done with Roblox because she's back with her big new event game Sliving Land. Like I said, I found the game via an ad, but it's also being promoted by Roblox as they've posted a trailer for it on their Instagram. I would tell you, I was very excited for a new Paris Hilton game after what happened in the last one, so I jumped in right away. Unfortunately, the game itself looks great, but lacks really anything to talk about gameplay-wise. The game is pretty much one of those clicking pet games where you just go around clicking things to get points to buy pets. You have a camera, you click on BMW i8s, which make their return from the original Paris world, you buy new cameras and bags, and you buy pets. All it really is from what I can tell is yet another clicking to get squares with faces that follow you around simulator, but on a smaller scale. There's a dressing room in your apartment that doesn't appear to serve any purpose if that's something that interests you though. I don't believe there are any free items, but it wouldn't surprise me if there were some eventually with how Roblox is promoting the game. Sliving Land is quite popular though, and it seems to be younger girls playing it judging by the avatars, which is good for them, they have something new to enjoy. There's just nothing much to say about the game, at least gameplay wise, because there are other interesting things about it. The game is oddly similar to the Career Center though with several things from that game also present in Sliving Land. The intro is the same, the character movement is the same with double jumps and sped up walking, there's the same feedback button and there's even a podcast area too. The jumping animation is the exact same one, so I'm guessing that Roblox is a direct partner in the development of this game. Assets used in the Career Center are probably given to brands as a template for them to build their games upon. There's really not much else to say about this though. It's a relatively uninteresting game that we've seen many times before. It's not the chaos ridden war zone full of 1940s Germans, nuclear bombs, and mindless bots everywhere like the previous Paris Hilton games though. At least there's no chaos yet because there's a club coming to this game so we'll see how that ends up in a few days. But for now, I guess we'll have to wait for another time to see the next corporate bomb zone on Roblox.